Maybe the mango ain't your baby. Hey, it's Brian Lake back, or Brain Muffin, or whatever my name is, with a beer review we have from Breckenridge Brewery, out all the way out there in Breckenridge, Colorado. Is it Colorado? Or is it Florida? Or Florida? Uh, who cares? We have Mango Mosaic Pale Ale, crisp and aromatic with tropical mango nuance. So, fi yeah, fine Colorado ales. Well, if I just bother to read the label, maybe I'd know where it's from. So. What's interesting is um, there is a, I used Eldorado, gives a nice mango flavor. Holy crapola. Mosaic is a, uh, is more of a citrusy, wow, look at that coloring, that is awesome. What does it say? Because it's kind of funky, tropical mango nuance, yeah. Well, there's mango on the nose, but there's something else, hints of sourness. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, and there's stuff stuck to my glass, thought I rinsed it. We have chunks of something floating in there. I'm guessing it's uh, yeast in the bottom, but it's chunks. That's weird. I did kind of pour it sloppily. Oh, chunks of mango. Duh. Oh, man, that is nice. So it's got hints of mango, 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 mango sweetness, but there's also a hint of sour. Yeah, it has a, a subtle sourness to it, especially in the finish. About halfway, two-thirds way back in the mouth, it gets kind of sour. But it does have a nice mangoey presence, but it's not overly powered. I don't know what I, if I like the chunks of mango floating in it, though. And the Mosaic Hop... <clears throat> I keep, you know, I keep forgetting I don't have that app on here. <clears throat> and let's see. Let's see if we can quickly, quickly, quickly find it. Because, you know, we're just wasting card space and everybody's time. You know, because I'm supposed to be a professional and be prepared and have all this stuff in advance. But, you know, until Elizabeth and Margaret show up, I'm really not going to be much of a professional. All right, so, because I need them to get me in line. Hop guide. Nope, nothing. Hops guide. <sighs> no. Uh, hop reference. Maybe this is why I don't have it anymore. Maybe they, because I it, it got old and it didn't get updated and then I removed it. If I could spell reference, that'd be scary. Hmm. How about just hops? The hopscotch. Oh, that's even worse. Hops craft beer. Craft bar. All right, hops. I don't even know what language that's in. All right, forget it. Uh, so anyway, because the mosaic is is one that's I haven't used a whole lot. I think it's derived from. It's the one derived from um, not cit citrus derived from Cascade to be more uh, citrusy and less piney, but it can also be funky and not in a good way. I have really mixed feelings about this beer. A uh, crisp and aromatic, I agree with. It's like it wants to be a sour, but it pulls back from the sourness. It, it, it's a great color. I don't know why it has chunks of stuff floating in it. I hope it's supposed to. But I previously, I have I checked this into Untapped more than two years ago. And I haven't reviewed this. And there's this lingering bitterness in the kind of the roof of your mouth. And I don't know what that's from. I don't know if that's the mosaic hops. But it, it, I don't know what this thing's trying to be. It like wants to be about four or five different things, but it never fully achieves any of them. Uh, it's like a jack of all trades beer. Man, I previously gave this a three. And what I'm debating is whether I was right or wrong. And it really feels like I was right. It's a it's a it's a minor disappointment, but it, you know. I mean a B that's a that's a C. A, a three out of five is a C basically in my book. And it's not quite even a C plus. 
So, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay with my three out of five beer review. Uh, I don't know what you'd pair this with. That bitterness is. I mean, I'm gonna have to have some cheese after this. I really don't like that finish. I mean, it smells wonderful and it starts nice, but then it finishes really. Ugh, ugh. This may be one of those beers that you really have to eat with the have with the right foods to really enjoy. Maybe some spicy foods. Yeah, I wouldn't have a very hearty meal with it, but spicy would be well. Well, if you had a good hearty chili that's really hot, that would be good. But I would like spice like Thai or something where there's a lot of flavor in there as well as the heat. Maybe a good uh, Indian curry. But man. I'm hard pressed to give it bet more than a three. So there we go. I'm gonna check into it. I got a three out of five. I know, I know I already checked in before, but just so I remember. But so what do you have you had the mango mosaic pale ale? It, it can you figure out what it's trying to be? What it's you know, it's not a citrusy, it's it is different, and that's really good. And maybe I shouldn't be such a persnickety and say it's a four out of five because it's really striving to be different than any other pale ale out there. It has the mangoness, but it has some bitterness, but that funkiness, it's like it, everything is pulled back. It's like slightly bitter, slightly funky, slightly sour, slightly crisp, and it doesn't want to make a decision on what to be. To get that four out of five, one of those traits, choose one and enhance it a little bit more, and this is definitely a four out of five. So there you go. So what do you think? Am I being too harsh? You love this beer, hate this beer? Let me know in the comments below. Please retweet and tag the brewery when you retweet. I don't tend to tag the breweries anymore, but... Uh, some people do, and I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks for subscribing over here. Uh, or, let's see, um, it's up here, I think, on BitChute, if I remember correctly. But thanks anyway. Thanks for subscribing on both. Um, we're going to be more on Minds soon enough. And I know there's another video platform that I'm forgetting right now, but we'll see. All right, thank you very much, and goodbye. How many kinds of wrong...